I know, I know, you're all here wondering the exact same thing. Oh, what's in the box? And it's a fair enough question. I have been asking the same thing for the past few days as well. Now, I do have one thing to say before we dive into this is I have got wind from my little birds that a package is coming today at some point, but we don't know when. So right now I've got no package, but through the power of the internet, we are still able to find out what is in the box, and we're going to be discussing all of that today, what it means, and some Call of Duty 2020 talk as well. So let's answer that question. And I will say, when the package eventually gets here, I am going to be streaming opening it up over on Twitch. If you want to check out my Twitch, first link down below, we'll be doing that whenever that decides to show up. But as of right now, let's dive in and look at... Oh, what's in the box? So I took some video and images from various different sources. The video is from Prestige's Key. He was doing a live stream opening it up. And the images are from Charlie Intel. So here's what we have so far. First of all, when you open up the box, it's filled with like hay or straw or things like that. But then inside, there appears to be a projector. Now, a projector with 10 different slides. Now, different people also received different projectors. The one that you're seeing here from Prestige's Key is kind of all black and you put the slides in the top. Whereas the one that Charlie Intel got that you're seeing here, you put the slides in the side. Now, on top of this, every one of the boxes also came with a letter. Now, if you look at the letter right away, you realize this has to be related to Black Ops. This is the theme that every single Black Ops game is had the writing with the blacked out sections of it so here's what the entire letter says communication attendant to operation control number 505 by the way guys i just realized as i'm talking about this there are five different letters like this i've seen three of five four of five and five of five and i'm assuming that this all has to do with the numbers down the right hand side we'll dive into that a little bit more in a second recipients embedded field agents summary of contents these are top secret documents containing compartmentalized information essential to national security. You are requested to immediately distribute the provided intelligence to your operatives in the field. These materials are to be used in the investigation of site blank in the Ural Mountains. Please ensure that your package contains the documents listed in the column marked manifest. You will also be supplied a projector to aid in the distribution of the materials authorized by blank so as you can see on the right hand side there's a bunch of letters with numbers and then certain ones have x in them basically you need all of these put together to figure out the code and we'll get into that in a second so after this each person who received a projector also received 10 slides with it and looking back at that piece of paper from before if you look down the right it appears as though there is a possible of 15 different slides so to decode this or figure out what all these slides mean you need all 15 slides but we'll get more into that in a second but first let's look at some individual slides so this one you're looking at is v284 and this is actually a map and as you can see if you've played black ops before this is the outside of summit it's the edge along the cliff and various different creators have different sections of summit as a map and when you put them all together it gives you summit now, if you remember in the letter it said that this is taking place in the ural mountains the ural mountains is where summit is the actual map and on top of that it's also where where a Black Ops mission in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 actually takes place. So once again, coming full circle to this whole Black Ops theme. Now moving to the next slides, we have X837, and this one is a bunch of jumbled letters on the projector with a red dot down in the bottom. Similarly, we have a V730, which is the same kind of thing, but this time the red dot is at the top. Now there's also another slide that has a decoder ring on it. This is slide G293. Now, this takes it a step further when you actually combine these two, put them on top of each other, line up the red dots, in the circles you can see letters. But it goes even further than this, because if you go to the map Summit right now, inside of Summit there is a computer screen that has a separate decoder ring that will highlight different letters. But then it goes even further than this, because there's multiple slides that, as you can see, kind of have this circular colored thing on the bottom, and then a bunch of letters that go around in a circle. After this, we have another one that's labeled I-937. This one is the same kind of thing, but blue and different letters. And then also Y-318, which is yellow and green. And again, different letters. Now, what are these? Why are they shaped like this? What do the different colors mean? Well, I kind of have an answer, but I haven't decoded it yet. Once again, if you go to the map summit, there is a certain location that has a bunch of different clocks displaying different times with three different hands. Now, if you take the position 
positions of the hands and match them up with those slides. For each slide, it gives you three different letters. So now at this point, we have a bunch of different ways of getting letters. You have the red dot one where you line up the red dots and take the letters that are in the circles. We have the clock puzzle, but it goes even further than this as well. So there are also four different slides with four different locations. Up in the top left, we have one labeled one, which appears to be somewhere in the UK. Number two appears to be Paris up in the top right. Number three down in the bottom left looks like New York. And number four appears to be Russia down in the bottom right. Now, what do these mean? This is the thing I'm the most curious about because once again, if you go and look at Summit, you can find these exact numbers on the map. The first one, as you can see there, is kind of just on a small outcropping of a building. The second one is right beside kind of like the Russian star on the main building. The third one is on the red building at one of the back spawns. And finally, we have this yellow one written on another one of the small buildings. I don't know how these actually relate to the various different locations and what you have to do to figure out what they mean, or even if there is some sort of bigger meaning to these. Now, here's the thing. I recently got a text on my phone saying that I have a package being delivered to my house. I haven't ordered anything online, and I can only assume that it may be a projector with some slides in it. Now, I don't know if all of the slides are out there, if we have all of them to decrypt this message, but as soon as I get this package, I will be opening it up on a live stream and trying to decode this further and figure out what this mysterious message is. Is it going to be the title of the game? Is it going to give us some characters that are in the game? Is it going to give us more locations that are in the game? I don't know, but there's very clearly a code here that needs to be fixed figured out and put together. Now, based off of everything that we can see in this package, it does give us a pretty damn good idea as to what is actually going to be coming with Call of Duty 2020. So let me explain that part. First of all, we have the letter. This is just your typical Black Ops fashion letter or writing where things are redacted, blacked out, and you're obviously missing information that could give you a better idea of what is going on here. On top of this, in this letter, it specifically talks about the Ural Mountains, and then one of the slides are put together to create the map of Summit. Now, on both the Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 4 version of Summit, there is some sort of code involving the maps as well. On top of it, people have looked into it, and the most recent update for Black Ops 1 was three days ago, and that is 100% not a coincidence. Now, the other thing that ties things together here is the projectors, because these are old school projectors. The one that you're looking at here, I believe, is from the 1950s, and this kind of goes with the idea that this next game is going to be taking place within the Cold War. Now, here is the question that I... I have at this point. I don't necessarily know if we'll know this unless we decrypt a title out of this code. I don't know whether this is going to be a Black Ops reboot like has been rumored or whether this is going to be a new Black Ops game that takes place during the Cold War, potentially between the time of Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. I don't know. From everything we're seeing here, we can't be 100% sure until we see a trailer or something like that. What we can confirm, like 100%, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm not concerned in saying this at all, we are getting a Black Ops game. It is 100% going to be a Black Ops game, and I almost guarantee you that it's not going to be a modern day Black Ops game like Black Ops 2. It is going to be take place in the past, probably during the Cold War. I think the big question we have at this point is whether or not it is going to be a reboot or whether it's going to tie in to the old storyline. So here's the deal. This code is obviously really, really important and we need to decipher it somehow. So here's what I'm going to do is I don't currently have this package with the projector. Hopefully it comes soon today at some point. I'm going to be sitting here twiddling my thumbs and waiting. So what I'm going to do is as soon as this video goes live, I'm going to hop over onto Twitch and try to start deciphering the code as much as I can without having the slides yet. But as soon as I get the package, I'll already be streaming and we'll be able to hop on right away and go do it. So as soon as this video goes live, I'm going to be live over on Twitch trying to decipher this. If you want to come help out, first link down in the description and let's figure out what this is all about and crack the code. But as of right now, this is everything I understand about the mystery box. Hopefully it was able to fill you guys in a little bit. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. Subscribe to stay up to date on everything. As soon as I do decipher it, I'll make a video explaining it to you guys. But as for right now, hopefully I see you over on Twitch. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And as always, until next time, peace out.